F-22 is an exceptional fighter, but let's not get carried away, shall we? In reality, while still being superior to any of its opponents, the real specs may differ just a bit from what is commonly advertised. Let's start with the RCS. The real RCS of F-22 is, of course, a secret not available for public. Much quoted number of 0, 0001M2 comes from anonymous source cited in AW and ST magazine and could be dismissed. But what could we know? 3D modeling allows one to get the approximate data for aircraft's RCS. For F-22, such modeling gave a number of 0.3 to 0.4 square meters. But this is not accounting for radar absorbent materials, which are used on F-22. With them, its RCS will be around 0.03 to 0.04 square meters in X-band on average. Impressive, but not a RCS of a bird anymore. Modern radars, especially capable AESA ones, could detect F-22 at 60 to 80 kilometers distance. Now, the radar. It is advertised that an slash APG-77 AESA radar has whopping 2000 T slash R modules allowing it to form multiple beams of different frequencies. This allows the radar to utilize all its power, but doing so in the entire bandwidth of frequencies. This indeed makes older RWR systems practically useless. But modern RWRs are capable of detecting the emissions of such radar and were made with AESA in mind since and slash APG-77 is not really the first radar to be able to transmit in the wide bandwidth. What about F-22 Zone RWR and slash ALR-94? It is advertised that this system allows to launch missiles with radar off, getting locked from opponent's own radar emissions and even jamming, homing on jam. Yes, it could do that, but the range is much smaller than with the radar. Not even 60 to 80 kilometers mentioned above. F-22 Main Armament, AIM-120D AMROM Missiles The often stated range of 180 kilometers is the maximal launch range. For maneuverable, fighter-like targets, this range would be limited to 90 to 100 kilometers, and for reliable hit, no more than 50 to 70 kilometers, AMROM has two-stage guidance system. First stage is inertial guidance launch at the coordinates of the target obtained by the radar, with possible in-flight correction through data link if F-22 keeps tracking the target. Second stage active homing by AMROM's own radar. How detectable is it? Inertial navigation gives target no lock warning compared to older SARH missiles, and if F-22 turns away, the missile will fly towards the target without target even knowing it. But such fire and forget mode is not really suitable against maneuvering targets at long range. To give missile in-flight correction through data link and improve hit chances F-22 has to track the target, but target aircraft would be aware of being tracked. During second stage, Armum switches on its own radar and target gets regular warning, albeit very late for the target. Close-range AIM-9X missiles give no warning whatsoever and require no radar, but their range is within the zone where opponent may detect F-22 as well. Let's do an exercise and imagine a 1 vs 1 combat between F-22 and Su-35S. F-22 will detect Su-35 at around 150 km at this point, Su-35 will get only RWR warning with the approximate azimuth of the threat. This instantly gives F-22 the initiative, but to launch AMROM it still has to get closer, at least 70 km, Su-35 will detect F-22 at around 60 to 70 km, to launch its own R-77. Su-35 has to get within 30 to 40 km distance to F-22, which is not that easy to do. TLDR F-22 has approximately two times more detection and launch range, while having two times less being detected range. This is very serious advantage, Su-35S has 50 to 50 chances to survive depending on situation, but practically no chances to emerge victorious. But as you can see, stealth is not the only advantage that F-22 has. To make it really lopsided, we need to add AWACS to the F-22 side. This will allow F-22 to switch off its radar, giving no RWR to Su-35. Guided by AWACS, F-22 could get into a launch range undetected and perform launch undetected as well, or crossing detection range for a limited amount of time. 
In such situation, Su-35 has zero chances of victory and very low chances of surviving. Yeah.